So despite my better judgment, I picked up a couple of these. The Icons of the Realm, Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen, Booster Miniature Boxes. Let's talk about this and open them up here together in the Geek Corner. Hey there everybody, it's RevKev. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being a part of the community here. It really means a lot to me. So um, I picked these up and now I'm going to be honest. This concept here of buying a sealed box of miniatures for your role playing game that you have no idea what you're getting inside is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> like I have never, ever, ever, ever bought one of these. I've never bought sealed boxes of Hero Clicks. I've never bought those sealed boxes of the Star Wars miniature game. The idea of buying miniatures to play your game and you not knowing what you're getting, never, never liked it. But, I don't know, moment of weakness. It had the Dragonlance name on it, and maybe that's why I gave in to it finally. But um, let's see if this was worth it or not. Did I make a huge mistake of giving in to this temptation? Let's check these out. All right, so let's uh, let's open up the first one here. The box says, wait, you're supposed to get like four, I think, inside of this. I'm a rip the box kind of guy. I don't care. Oh wow, yeah, big giant box for four little tiny miniatures here what do we got okay so we got uh an elf man these really suck <laughs> like quality wise i mean concerning you can get like 3d printed guys like this of dragon lance anyways okay let's just keep going got an elf oh this one looks tiny here looks like i got a kender Uh, yeah, that might be a Kender. It's pretty small. Yeah, it's got to be a Kender. And what do we got here? Better get a Draconian in here. Okay, there's a Draconian. One of the gold ones. Again. Man, they, uh... Pretty weak quality-wise, if you ask me. But... Well, I know I've never bought these before. And then, uh, what is this, an Irda? Sea Elf, maybe? Not too sure. Alrighty, well, that's the first box. That's very, uh, underwhelming. And let's open up the next one. See what we get in here. Again, four more from here. Got that. Okay. And, and another one of those uh, blue elves, the Irda. Which is funny. I don't remember them really much in the module, but could be wrong. Okay. And uh, there you go. Someone playing guitar. So I guess we got like a bard or maybe a red robe wizard or something. Oh, it's got the names underneath here. Interesting. I can't read it. I'm not wearing my glasses. I'll have to check that out after. Um, and then we got some soldier dude. Yeah, this this is this is exactly why I don't buy these. <laughs> Cause this sucks. <laughs> oh, and there you got. A Knight of Salamnia. Okay, well, at least that guy's cool. Again, not the best paint job. Again, like, I've got a 3D printed version of Sturm Brightblade here, which is significantly cooler than this guy, but it's, um, you know, at least it's a Knight of Salamnia. So we got, like, one Knight of Salamnia, one Draconian, one Kender. That's, you know, a couple of Blue Elves. Yeah, two big thumbs down. I'm telling you, thumbs down. <laughs> so my theory was confirmed 
these are a big old waste of money. <laughs> don't, don't buy these. These, I see no value added to any tabletop role-playing game from these. You can get better miniatures for significantly cheaper from 3D printed uh, shops uh, or even just make your own tokens. I'm going to make a video about the tokens that I've been doing. So watch for that video coming out in the next uh, week or so. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, never doing that again. <laughs> Glad to know I've been right all these years. So I love to know, do you buy these? Maybe you trade them with your friends. Maybe it's a fun part of the hobby for you. Hey. I'm open to hearing about that. Put that down in the comment section below. And as always, I so appreciate you being a part of the community. Until the next video, God bless you. We'll talk to you soon.